now we are discussing a small topic called bias correction so far we have discussed about exponential weighted average or moving average the problem with the exponential weighted average or moving average is initial in the initial stages it is failing to give the real average value example we can check what is the v naught equal to zero if you are giving the weight 0 0.98 we already know we can calculate the 50 days average temperature but first the equation i am writing first day average temperature 0 0.98 into v naught what is the 0 0.98 into v naught it is zero so i can remove this term plus 0 0.0 to theta one so v1 equal to 0 0.0 to theta one so I am asking, what is the first day average temperature? You are saying 0 0.02 into first day average temperature. It is itself is a contradiction. If I am asking to the, if there is only one student in the class, his marks are some 90. Now I am asking, what is your average? What is this class average? That class average is 90. If you are telling 0 0.02 into 90, that is an error. But this is what really happening here by taking this only when we progress up to v50 definitely it is giving the right value but now my question is is there any method or approach which can correct me even when i am finding for the uh, first day moving average uh, now there is no doubt when we are progressing up to v50 definitely it, it may give the correct value but now i want even in the, in this initial stages also I am expecting a proper value, means the correct value. Then we have to do the correction, which we are calling as a bias correction. To do this correction, simply whatever the value we are getting in the initial stages, we have to divide it by one minus beta power t. This t is the uh, number we are taking. Example, if we are considering for one day moving average, we have to divide it with one minus beta. So if we divide example, we have calculated our problem is V1 is equal to zero plus 0 0.02 theta one. Now, according to uh, our concept, we have to divide this V1 with one minus beta power transpose means beta power, sorry, not transpose beta power T. Uh, now T is one because only for one day what is v1 by 1 minus beta 1 minus beta means 0 0.98 so we should divide the v1 by 0 0.02 to get the correct value if we divide the v1 by 0 0.02 then this 0 0.02 will be removed then v1 equal to theta 1 that is what we are expecting the first day moving average temperature should be theta 1 only right so this is how we implement vt by 1 minus beta power t if t is equal to 2 then uh, we will write 1 minus beta whole square if t equal to 3 1 minus beta whole cube but when it is uh, we are finding for v50 it is 1 minus beta power 50 means 0 0.98 power 50 is almost negligible we can uh, almost neglect it it is very uh, smaller value so this is how the bias correction we are taking is affecting only in the initial stages it is not affecting in the later stages that is what al also we are expecting our bias correction should change the initial in, should change the values in the initial stages only so by implementing the bias correction we are getting the moving averages for the initial stages also uh, in the exact way